Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> I also stopped at another sale here, a buddy of mine. He's a big nerd like me too. Um, but yeah, he had some good stuff and I spent like eighty dollars there. So I'll go over everything whenever I get back. So just give you guys an update. But yeah. Today turned out to be a pretty good day for yard sales, so on to the next. All right, guys, this right here was a big yard sale haul I got uh, pretty much off of brand. I'm less than $2 a game into these. Um, so most of these are already listed. Uh, these front up here is already listed. Uh, the, those back there are already listed. Um, the only ones that ain't listed are all these right here are pretty much Bolt, the PS2 and Xbox 360 Bolt games. Um, I haven't had time to go over all this yet, but I went ahead and started listing them because I've got a lot to get through and as I'm listening these have already sold this just sold for $13 on eBay um, so that's a good one to look out for um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 is another good one it's about $10 game it sold on eBay uh, Heavenly Sword it also sold on eBay for like $15 uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 sold for $10 free shipping on eBay and Lord of the Rings Conquest it sold for $12 plus shipping on eBay that sold pretty much a few minutes after I listed it so pretty good little find there um, I've actually already made my money back on this uh, all right so I just realized I didn't even make a video about these games that I sold uh, rest of the games I've going over but uh, these sold really fast pretty much the day I listed them so this Evil Dead game for Xbox sold on eBay for $27.99 plus shipping the day I listed it so not a bad deal there I paid two dollars for it uh, pretty much pay two dollars a game sometimes somewhat maybe even under two dollars a game on this lot is I bought off a friend so I didn't really get a lot of footage of it but yeah good deal all around uh, we also sold Boulders Gate Dark Alliance on Xbox for twenty dollars that sold on Macari the same day I listed it hopefully so uh, a lot of this ain't really worth a whole lot uh, three to four dollars most games uh, so they'll go into my antique table um, but I've already sold several and I know I've missed some because they've been selling like crazy but yeah I've, I've already probably doubled up on the game so far from what I paid um, just want to go over and go over everything else I got um, like I said most of this is probably ain't worth too much um, I'll just start over here because this pile is already sold so I want to go over these two uh, we got Indiana Jones 2 Lego Indiana Jones 2 Batman Arkham Origins that and sold for around 15 uh, WWE 2K17 sells for around 20. Uh, NFL Street uh, sold for 10 bucks. Uh, Rayman Arena sold for about eight. Transformers the Game that sold for around 10 dollars, and Dynasty Warriors 6 sold for like seven bucks I think. So those are all sold already. Um, we'll go over the rest of these. Uh, we we'll start with the PS3. Uh, we got Army of Two, roughly a uh, five dollar game I think it was. Um, that one's actually empty. That's why I didn't put a price on it. Ah! All right. So, um, we got Uncharted 2, about a four-dollar game. Uh, it was a Dragon Age Awakening. Again, it's only about four bucks. 
uh, rock band usually around five bucks for that uh, aliens that's about a seven dollar title uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 that's always good for about eight bucks so got those listed uh, episodes from Liberty City we got that listed for about ten uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 got it listed for six and Black Ops 2 that goes for around ten I think yeah, pretty much ten uh, I've already sold one copy of this because uh, that's why see I'm all out of whack here uh, I got Mortal Kombat in here listed for ten dollars I already sold the copy of Black Ops 2 um, so go over to PS2 games here notable uh, guitar here Aerosmith about five bucks uh, Spider-Man this for about nine Spider-Man friend or foe it's like a $12 title uh, we got Nicktoons Unite about $13 on that Justice League Heroes pretty decent at $10 uh, Ed Ed and Eddie list for about 10 uh, Crash Nitro Kart again about $10 on that you can list it for 8 uh, the Acme Arsenal we got it listed for 10 Pac-Man World 3 pretty decent title as well goes for about 10 bucks uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses again it goes for pretty good money about 20 bucks on that Juiced that doesn't surprise me about 10 bucks on that and Guitar Hero 2 is good for about $5 all day every day all right, and then uh, go over some of the 360 titles. We got the Skyrim Legendary Edition. Uh, it goes for about 10 bucks. Um, Game of the Year Edition Red Dead Redemption. Uh, I'm keeping this one for myself because my copy scratched all the pieces. Um, we got Skyrim again about five bucks. We got Deadpool about a five dollar game loose. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean is like around eight bucks. Far Cry 4 Limited Edition goes for around eight bucks. Uh, Dance Central 3, $7 title on that. And then Harry Potter Years 5 through 7, about $8 on that. And then uh, go over some of the Xbox titles. Got Enter the Matrix, uh, Spy Hunter, Superman Returns, uh, Splinter Cell, Power Drone, uh, NFL Street, which is a pretty good one, about $10. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons Heroes, about $15 title on that. Uh, Doom 3, only about seven bucks. I figured that'd be a little bit more. Uh, Star Wars Episode 3, about eight bucks on that. Mist and Revelation, about a nine dollar title. Uh, Hunter of the Reckoning, about ten dollar title on that. Justice League Heroes again for twelve bucks. Uh, Wolfenstein goes for about eight bucks. Fusion Frenzy, that one goes for around ten. And we got Spider-Man 2, goes for about nine bucks. And we got X-Men, about a $7 title. That's the Legends of Rise of Apocalypse 2. The Thing, about a $20 title on that. Celebrity Deathmatch, about 7 bucks. Same thing with X-Men Legends, the first one. Namco Museum, about a $5 title. Nothing too special there. And then about $9 on Spider-Man Platinum Hits version. So that's pretty much all that for that. Uh, we got a bunch of PS2 titles. Like I said, most of these are about 2 or $3 a piece. Uh, all these basically be going into my antique table so legend of spyro that one's actually empty or that would be sold online and that's pretty much it for that and then we got a bunch of more xbox 360 titles over here and we'll go over these these are here again based into my antique table for two or three dollars a piece um some of them maybe four dollars uh, but yeah nothing too special here Marvel Ultimate Alliance was okay, but this only is not as much. But yeah, so that's pretty much everything there. Ton of titles. Uh, again, I only paid probably 140 bucks for everything, and I've already sold all the good ones uh, and sold a bunch more. So, the rest of this is going on my table. I'm already in the profit, so it ended up being a good little stop. So, yeah, guys. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.